It was a cold, foggy evening when I contacted a close friend of mine to stay at my place for the night. Both of us were only 10 years old at the time, and my parents were often at work until midnight, so I was usually alone with nothing to do except watching a television show or reading a book. My friend Alex had agreed to come over and brought a game of Monopoly to pass some of the time. I also asked if he was interested in going to explore an abandoned subway station three miles away. He seemed excited at first, so we planned to go on the trip in the morning. I remembered that the subway dated back to the mid-1920s and became abandoned in 1932 after the market crash in 1929. I was very fascinated about its history but never got the chance to go inside after my parents had warned me not to enter. As I quietly slept in my bed, I heard what sounded like a gunshot coming from the forest behind the house. Both of us woke up frightened after what we had heard, and I told my friend not to worry as hunters tend to go into the forest on frequent occasions, but when I checked the time, it was 11.39pm. This seemed very unusual as hunters only came into the forest between 8pm and 10pm. I looked at Alex and decided to get out of my bed, intending to look through the window and spot for anyone in the forest. The darkness clouded my vision so I was unable to see anyone in the forest. I turned around and looked at Alex again, when suddenly I heard the front door squeak open. Chills went down my spine. Both of us quietly moved to the bathroom, locked the door and kept the light off. It was the only safe place in the house. Both of us were terrified as we desperately tried to keep as calm as we could. We heard footsteps getting louder and louder until they stopped in front of the bathroom door. And then this is when the most terrifying sound forced my heart to almost burst. Both of us screamed as the person chopped the door to pieces. It was pitch black inside the room, making it hard to find the vent, and by the time I spotted the vent, the person behind the door had made a hole big enough for us to see him. The man adorned black leather and was wearing a plague doctor mask. I scurried back to the vent, but it was too high above the floor for us to reach it so Alex told me to go first because he was the strongest. He lifted me up on his shoulders, allowing me to open the vent and crawl inside. When I looked at the door again, the man had managed to fit his arm through the hole and reached for the lock. I quickly grabbed Alex's hand, but struggled to pull him up into the vent. Alex! I shouted, and began going after him. I pursued the figure until I was led to the abandoned subway deep within the forest. It was chilly and foggy meaning that I could only see objects within a range of five or six yards. Inside the subway was a pool of freezing cold water. It was so dark that I couldn't see anything. I had to rely on listening to the screams from Alex and track the source. As I slowly walked through the subway, I was now struggling to breathe under the intense stress and fear of the situation. Alex! I called, but there was no response. I continued walking through the water until the exit was no longer visible. I was now experiencing a massive panic attack. I had lost track of Alex, and I had no idea where I was or how to get out. Where are you, Alex? Thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. If you would like to support the channel, check out the merch link in the video description.